In the previous video, I've shown you how you could build a classification model using the Orange data mining software for the Iris dataset. And in this episode, I'm going to be showing you how you could use a custom dataset such as the Penguins dataset. And so without further ado, we're starting right now. Okay, so welcome back to this second episode of the Orange tutorial series. So today we're going to have a look at how we could import our custom data. So first thing is to open up the orange and we're going to use the example workflow. So let's click on examples and then we're going to click on the classification tree. Open and then for the file node, let's double click on it or right click and then open. And before doing that, let's notice that if we hover on the node, we will see that there is no input right now. It says no input. Okay. So for URL, you want to click on that one. And then let's go to the data professor GitHub to get the URL of the penguins data set. So go to the data repository. And then you want to find the penguins cleaned.csv. And then you want to right click on the raw link and then copy link address. All right, and then let's head on back and then double click on the file node or right click and open. And then in the URL option here, in the radio button URL, you want to paste the URL in and then click on reload. Okay, and then here we have seven variables. And so notice that all of them will have a row. So actually I've tried this before, so it's in target. But if you load it for the first time, it's gonna be all features. And if you apply, then notice that you get a warning because the classification tree node does not know which of the seven variables are the target, the one that you wanna predict. So make sure that you select the particular variables that you want to serve as a target click it here on the row column and select target all right and then click on apply and then close it and now you see that there's no warning symbol and so actually the classification tree model has already been built and we can go ahead and click on the classification tree viewer and so here you see the classification tree already built. Okay, so you see the relative rules or threshold that each variable has in determining the class label of the penguins into either Adeli, Chinstrap, or Gen2. And as always, you could click on the target class to select the particular class that you want to have the tree showing. Okay, and you see that each of them are assigned different colors, green, red, and blue. And you could also save it out. You could try PDF, SVG, or PNG. And in this tutorial, we'll try PNG. We'll save it as tree two. And so this is the tree. And notice that the image breaks a bit because it is in raster mode, the PNG. But if you save it as a PDF, let's try it. It will be a vector, so it will be crystal clear. Okay, so it's crystal clear, high resolution. All right, box plots. So you have to select the particular node in the tree here. Otherwise, you will see that it's incomplete by the dashed line here. After you select a particular node that you want to see in the box plot, you're going to see that the line changes into a solid line. And now you can see the box plot comparing between the various classes and the scatter plot. You could color according to species, or you could color according to island, so it's up to you. 
But normally we'll color it according to the species because we're classifying the penguins according to the species. So for more details about the penguins data set that we're using in this video, check out the other video that I have created explaining in more detail about the penguins data set. So I'll provide that in the description of this video. And so there you have it, a classification model built using your own custom data. So stay tuned for more awesome orange tutorial videos. If you're finding value in this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't yet done so, hit on the notification bell, hit on the notification bell in order to be notified of the next video. And as always, the best way to learn data science is to do data science and please enjoy the journey. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in the next one. But in the meantime, please check out these videos.